little breakdown coming up here, boys, between K-Mac on offense in the Cardinals uniforms and Dez in the Bengals uniforms starting on defense, Dez is. I have, I actually, when I watched this game live, I was kind of like in and out, so I didn't get to watch too much of it. And I'm, I'm kind of curious how this game went. Uh, we're going to see Dez immediately in the nickel 3-3 Cub. It used to be called 55 wide. We use those terms interchangeably. So if you hear nickel 3-3 Cub, or nickel 335 wide, those are the same things. And then K Mac in the gun trips tight end. Uh, and immediately he's gonna block six. Have potential to I, I it looks like he almost did he just go for a bomb first play? Try to set the tone. So it's let's see. Yeah, yeah, he went for a nuke very first play. Hey, I respect that, brother. I almost I don't think this is a throw right here. And these guys actually bump. That might have been a touchdown if they don't super bump like that. But I think. From my times running trips, they do bump. Now, he is... Okay, I can tell immediately. Uh, K-Mac is in the run... It's a run and gun trips tight end. So, this has a couple other plays. There's a speed option. This tight flex pretty nice. Uh, there's a speed option. There's a uh, play with the tight end crosser on it. A stock tight end crosser. Which is really nice because uh, there's no tight end apprentice yet in the game as of today. So... And he's going to audible over to tight flex, actually. I think tight flex is pretty cool. This doesn't have PA post shot, which I think is like the best tight flex play. But I don't think it's bad, and he calls the play cross immediately. Actually, a pretty, pretty scary throw right here. Pretty unnecessarily scary throw from K. Right. So five outs, it gets time, rolls out. I guess not. No, I mean you can make this throw, especially if he's made this throw a few times. I've just seen this throw. I feel like, and maybe not this specific play, maybe on a different route. But like this throw, instead of going right here, go like right here, for like the game just like bugs out, which is annoying. But no, uh, K Max probably ran that a few times, so that's fair. Uh, yeah, and there's also a read option. So play flood. Yeah, this one right here. That this little crosser, really really nice to have. They love to play curl flat from trips tight end as well. And usually trips tight end ran with a lot of quick snapping, but we'll see how K Mac runs it here. And we, he is quick snapping a little bit. Des user a little behind, and Shannon Sharp getting a big gain right there. This is a route combo that honestly I've never loved. I've seen people run it forever, and like it is good, obviously, right? We have we have post flat curl like this is all good. But then we have drag, and then we have angle route. And the, the middle of the field just gets really muddied up. This is one of those plays that, like, if this was old gen, you could never run this because you're just begging to get lurked. But on next gen, these style of route combos with a lot of trailing routes and a lot of meshing have just become so much more popular. And, I mean, it's been like that for a couple years now. I'm just talking in the past, I guess, because I've been, ugh, been playing John Madden for a while. And you see right there, actually, so this is what's interesting. Oh, intentional grounding is tough right there. That's going to be big. So there's a little cat and mouse game whenever you're playing somebody who runs nickel three three five wide or nickel three three cub, right? And in this game, it's that if Dez's user gets down here and hovers and he sends five, which he does a lot, this will come in on five man blocking, basically meaning that KMAC either needs to guess whenever Dez is gonna send this five man blitz and block a halfback or a tight end. Or he just has to block a halfback or a tight end every single play. That's typically what that, what that means. And a lot of times when you see people play this type of defense, they'll just block somebody every single play. Then Dez will mix in the send three where these guys zone out. Okay? And then if you mix it, if you, get the, if you do the send three, right, so you're only blitzing three people, and they block a halfback, you have eight people in coverage against four routes. Really good numbers. We run that on Civil GG a ton. That's a big part of our, our, uh, our new defense that's on the site. So we'll see what happens here, though. K-Mac is actually able to pick this up five on five. You see, he gets sucked in, and this guy ends up getting picked up. Boom, boom, boom. Five on five protection. And I believe, from what I've been told, is that that's consistent. Now, what's insane is that it ended up being worst-case scenario anyways, where he loses 15 yards. But that is pretty interesting, uh, that he's able to block a really good five-man blitz that is literally designed to come in on five-man protection, 500, whatever you want to call it, if you're a football nerd, not a football nerd, whatever. And he doesn't have to. See, this play, there's just so many, and it actually happens right there. I actually, truthfully, like, it is annoying if you're K-Mac. I'll be 100% honest with you, though. Like, I think this route combo just has so many routes that just, like, run, like, like, all these routes are so close to each other, I feel like. I don't know, I've never liked it. It is open. You got to throw your flat, though. He should have caught this, though. Like, yeah, he got screwed. I just don't love the route combo. I know people can run it at high success rate, so, I mean, it's a preference thing, I guess. Oh, this does have PA post shot out of tight flex. Does it? Really? Does it? It does. I don't think it had that last year. If you ran this last year, let me know if this had. I don't think it had PA post shot out of tight flex and running guy. I know the Rams and whatever does. Motion out halfback. 
Yeah, he's done this for a while. Noah does it too. Really good defense, though, from Dez. Way to get something there, but he's short of the field goal range, so he's going to have to go for it. Yeah, they love motioning this tight end out when they have to get really, whenever they're kind of uncomfortable passing, I feel like they do it. And it does open up a lot of the field. Uh, yeah, I think, I mean, a lot of trips defense, this whole side of the field is pretty compressed, right? Nothing can immediately attack this, really. But you motion this guy out here, and you're able to really attack that side. They'll do that like gun tight slots have back weak as well. And it's pretty good. Let's see what Dez does right here. Clearly standing in the gap. Looking like he's going to send pressure. Fourth and 10. He sends five. K Mac blocks the blitz and is going to throw a corner route and hold on to it. You catch a lot of those in this game. Basic. Oh, he's going turbo, turbo, turbo. You catch a lot of those balls in this game, uh, which I, I honestly don't mind. It's pretty consistent. And you see again, though, the five on five gets picked up, which is kind of wild. Five on five gets picked up. And it's. Even, See, the thing is, he's running these five-on-fives. If you just put a good route combo on the field, yeah, it's, it's, it's why... Oh, I just had my Siri activate. It's why I've never loved Trips Quick Snap. Qu trips Quick Snap, because, like, this route combo, I mean, it's just verticals. And, like, don't get me wrong, verticals are really good in this game, but, yeah, verticals with a uh, Texas route. And it's, it is really good in this game, but I'm just straight man... And he tries rolling out. I, I, I'm not a fan. I'm not a crazy fan of it. It obviously works. Like, don't get me wrong. It obviously works. It's just like, it, it, it conflicts with, uh, with some of how I prefer to pass the ball, I guess. Um, yeah. Yeah, because, like, they're really only, yeah. I don't know. I'm just not, never been a fan of it. It's not, never really been my style of passing. He's going to motion this guy out. I do like this a lot. Because you do play games with this tight end. You could go tight end out streak right here. And it's going to be tough to defend that. No, he's going to go double seams. I love that. Let's see if Dez ends up giving it up. It looks like he will. X is going to be open. Good user. Corner route instead. And that's a good route combo, dude. You're pushing the seam right here, right? To defend this, to defend this seam, this guy almost has to be in this area. Because this guy rolls. This seam's open. And then, on top of that, you're putting together another route combo on the left here. This time with a C route. Where you're going to be able to get underneath deep blues. Corner route. C route. Dot. That's a good ball. That's a super, 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 super good ball. Uh, good drive from K-Mac to start off. Let's skip forward a little bit here, and let's see. Dez Rockin looks like not an H&M shirt, but it basically is. I love a good H&M shirt. This is American Eagle right here. I actually don't wear this shirt very often. I don't love this American Eagle like like thing on it, but it's whatever. I like plain, I like the plain shirts, or I like graphic tees. This kind of falls in between. It's just kind of meh. All right, Dez on offense here. He uh, immediately flipping his bunch. He's going to audible around a ton. He's in the... Uh, He's in the Jets playbook, or is he in is he in the Packers playbook? I'll be able to tell you in a second. Let's see what he does. He is in the uh, Packers playbook, which I'm sorry, no, he's in Jets. 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 Yeah, Jets playbook immediately all the way over to bunch strong offset. That's a pretty good play right here. Flood from it, and he's gonna quick throw that. Oh, and he's gonna be out. Jeez, came out got kind of screwed right there. It's gonna be a touchdown. Let's see what he saw read wise. Yep, touchdown. So, oh, I think this guy comes. Let's say, yep, this guy comes. And this is basic cover two over here. He knows it's on an in-breaking route. User's caught down here. Yeah, it's pretty basic. Whenever there's a blitzing slot corner, I'm, well, I, I really do think Dollar is always going to be a good formation, right? But whenever you have blitzing slot corners coming from the outside, the pressure isn't instantaneous. And so what that means is that you can attack right over their head. That's essentially what Dez does, right? Blitz comes. He just throws right over that dude's head. As he just replaces him with the receiver. Really good way to attack the blitz. And a pretty... You can do that with a slant. You can do that with a drag. You can do that with a, a seam streak, technically, you could do that with. A um, bunch of different ways to, to do that style, and he just does it right there. See what K-Mac does now on offense, a little replay right here from the boys over at EA. By the way, Ryan Hollins was on this uh, broadcast, and honestly, he did a great job. He knows ball. I know, ooh, I've know. i known Ryan knows ball for a while. Or not, not knows ball, but plays Madden. But when he was commentating, bro, he, uh, he knew ball. If you don't know who Ryan Hollins is, he's a current color comp. No, uh, yeah, color commentator for the Houston Rockets, former NBA player, seven foot, um, big, big man, big dude, really cool guy, known him for a few years now, and um, yeah, cool dude, we have a, if you see my Instagram, we have a picture together um, from a few months ago, let's go here, yeah, yeah, and does he have this drag right here, he has a slant, I would never, uh, slants in my field are a no-no. Yeah, that's why I don't love this, man, because you see, like, this is being usered, and because this slant is so close to it, you can't throw either. And both routes are being usered by one player, which is, like, one of the biggest, like, obviously, is one of the biggest no-nos ever. At the very least, let that slant 
get out further so he can't use her both of them. I think he snapped it a little too soon. I don't mind. Motion slants and Madden are really good, except for this year, they'll randomly stop on you. And so I'm very like, I don't even give Madden the chance to F me. But yeah, backing off this slot corner, Dez is. Let's see what that assignment is for him. Even man, boom, good read. Juke moves are so good. The spin move, I think, was not the best. Not a fan of the spins in this game. Sometimes I've seen him be cool, I guess. Baseline press for Dez. Three man rush right here. And Dez's user just gets behind. And actually, K Max sees. Ooh, bad animation. High throw, touch. Ooh. I don't know if you can high, high throw, touch past that. Maybe you can. I'm not sure. He sees a step, right? Boom. Doesn't really get a super. I, honestly, he just needs to be able to get let throw the ball farther. The ball's just underthrown, bait, honestly. So, yeah, he got kind of screwed on that. Had the corner route, too. Dez's defense was not set up at all. Yeah, anyway, go back to verticals right here. Dez on the D-tackle. Again, back-to-back -back plays where Dez's defense not set up. And then, honestly, yeah. Ooh, is he going to be... Oh, they just screwed him with the placement. They, they, they just F'd K-Mac back-to-back plays. One on a potential touchdown. And then right there, the placement on third inches is big. Inside zone. All right, I'm glad he gets that. Good play call. Show, I mean, he hasn't even ran the ball at all yet, actually. And I think the runs out of this are pretty good. I've always been, the trips tight end runs have always been good. Base, 45, quick base. Always, ooh, watch this guy in a wheel possibly. Yep, yep, verticals of the wheel. Yeah, yeah, he has a touchdown it looks like. But I mean, he sends five out against a five-man blitz. That's, that's, pretty, that's pretty fair. You're not really going to be able to throw that. Although, B is a touchdown right here crossing the face. That's why this B route is so good in verticals. It crosses the face of, uh, of man-ups, and it gets into like a little soft spots of zone. So it does a really good job. K-Mac is just upset at this point because he's had two kind of back-to-back -back cheats. That right there is pretty fair, though. If you guys like these breakdowns, too, by the way, let me know. And I also do offer on Civil GG, we do, like, film breakdowns of, like, your guys' games. Not for YouTube, but, like, if you guys ever want me to break down one of your games. We do. That was a bad read that he got away with. All right. Well, all right. Now now they both met a little bit effed. Um, but, yeah, if you ever want me to do that, uh, someone on Civil GG. Uh, we have a few different coaches, myself who does it, and a few other people too. You see that civil GG, you go to coaching, you be able to do all that. But also, uh, if you like the breakdowns, just comment and tell me, dude. I, I, I try to make content regarding comp that you guys like. Good rollout. Yeah, I don't, man. I'm, I, I think Trips is really good. I just don't love, I'm, I don't love all the plays. I don't love all the plays. I'm also super biased though. Because the dudes I used to play man with heavy, like, ran trips a very, like, specific way. We're going to take this to the end of the first. Skip forward now. Okay, now we're going to backtrack slightly. Uh, yeah, like, they used to run the trips such a specific way. So, I, I honestly think, like, anything that isn't that, I'm, like, naturally, like, against. Good fall forward from Bo. Let's see what K-Max one-yard line offense is. Goal line. I got to see what people are doing from goal line. Whenever I call goal line, I go backwards four yards. So, we got to see what they're doing. I called it against W, and he hit me for a loss of four. I don't even know how it's possible, but he did. Toss? Is toss good? Is toss good? Run toss. Run toss. Good? Good? See, that's where I'm like... That's where I'm like... Has K-Mac called that before? I didn't think toss was good. <laughs> so it's still like that one. I'm like, has he ran that before even? Because, <laughs> damn, when he called that, I was like, man, maybe I'm missing something. Like, all right. No? Okay. Whatever, whatever. Uh, that's a pretty basic combo right here. Got to watch that slant in on the left. And it looks like he can't snap the ball. I don't, I don't think he can snap it, right? That's annoying. So let's see if you see this route combo from him. It should be, I mean, it's pretty basic. All these routes are going to beat man for the most part. Um, yeah, so we have slant. Always scary in this game because they can stop. In route can beat man coverage right here. Table route just pushing. Gonna push. So this is an underrated route because this will push everything to the sideline, all the flat zones, opening up the slant in this area more. Okay? And then this on this side, potential throw over the middle or back corner. We'll see how that crosser actually develops here. I'm curious. And he's going to get – he does get to the back corner. Good slide right there. Scary. Uh, that's a good play. Just good defense. It's hard to pass the ball in this area. Good pocket by K-Mac. Able to get up the middle and get down. Sometimes those get scary. Yeah, I thought he'd just go. I'm surprised he went goal line, bro. And then goal line toss, I feel like, was a crazy call. He does have that speed option, too, that he could call right here from trips tight end and jurdle into the end zone or jurdle pitch it um, like what I used to do from pistol, pistol wing flex. And it's pretty good out of this. I don't know if he's going to do that, but I, I actually think he should. I think that's way better than going to goal line, in my opinion. And, yeah, even going to the stretch alert look, he's pretty good. 
See. Stretch timeout. Okay. I mean, this is a suspenseful little goal line stand right here, man. In the trips, what's he do? Speed. Okay, he does it. Tries to take it up the middle. Jeez, that could have been that could have been a fumble. He should have jurdle pitched it, dude. That thing's unstoppable. Jurdle pitch bat, that that bad boy. That thing's tough. All right. Going down to the stretch alert. Yep. Hand it off and pray. That's what you have like you have to do that. Hand it off and pray. Hand it off. The stretch alert lookies are so good. RPO stretches in this game are so good. Stretch. Gets out. Oh, terrible stick. He no. Oh no. I'm sick if I'm Dez. Oh no. I'm actually like shocked. It looks like KMAC hasn't ran this before or something. No, no, no. If you play the game, you know what I mean. You play, if, you, if you play the game heavy, you know what I mean. If I have any comp guys watching, because check this. So the reason these are so good, boys, is because this corner sucks in for no reason. Like, he goes super far in, so you just outrun him, okay? Like, you just outrun him. Right, I think it's right behind my face cam right now. So this guy sucks in. You just outrun him right here. k -Mac clicks on and jurtles. It, oh, and then gets that in a... Oh, I am sick if I am Dez. Wow. I I wonder, is K-Mac new to this playbook or something? That, the, huh. huh. No, he's not. He's not new to it. I'm so baffled by that. That one's shocking. That and the toss. There's no way that toss, maybe it's good sometimes. I don't know. I just feel like toss haven't been good in a second. And the, the fan cam goes crazy. All right, first and 10. Dez back on offense, rolling out, going to throw it away, get a yard. Okay, why not? Gets a yard out of it. Yeah, Dez loves the audible round. He did it a ton last year. He's one of the best players in the world at doing it. He's one of the best players in the world in general. Why curl? So look, why curl's example of one of these plays where this guy comes, okay? Right, he blitzes. This guy, the why curl route, it's like a little seam streak, essentially, right? So he can attack right there. And the user, yeah, let's see if he throws that. Backed off. No, he didn't come, but he would have been open. Watch that again. Watch it again. Just imagine the slot corner blitzes right here. Can you see exactly what I mean? That's why he's calling this play. Good read. Way to take the check down right here. But see, if this guy were to blitz, squares open in this area. Now, he could get lurked. That's a potential. But just talking about manipulating the, the CPU defenders, that's what, you're, that's what he's thinking about here. Right? All the way over to Bunch Strong. Is this going to be – what play is this now from Dez? This is that flood play. They like this flood play a lot, but I don't think it's as good. This corner strike's really good, though. Timeout from KMAC. Yep, going back to Bunch Strong. Okay, he's going wide trail. Yeah, I call this play a ton, actually. Pretty much the exact same play, almost. Boom. See, that's a good read, dude. And that's one of the more high-level reads. A lot of people are taking their eyes off that, off this vert hook. And honestly, KMAC doesn't even think this is open right here. Like, he knows, like, see what I'm saying? A lot of people are not throwing this anymore. But this guy's only dropping back to this area, right, give or take. This guy's out here. This guy's up here. Uses over here. So, you know... If you're familiar with these routes and this timing, you know you can fit this ball in right there. Really good, honestly. Like, super good ball from Dez. It's a pretty tough, like, I actually think it's a pretty tough read. A lot of people don't make that read in my experience of playing the game. A lot of people don't make that read. Now, KMAC knows that he almost has to start, like, almost worrying about that, that ball right there, which is tough. Let's see what, what Dez, he's, all right, looks like he's clocking right here. Going to an RPO, going to RPO power O, this is. Yeah, these RPOs are just under center. Wow, he threw the bubble. Why? Why'd you throw the bubble? What? <laughs> what are these do? What are they doing, dude? That just clearly is not open. It's just obvious, dude. Hand the ball. I don't know why he did that. That's just obviously not open. <laughs> All right, second and eleven. Back to the bunch strong. We are back to the bunch strong. What we got? What's the play call here? Going corner strike. Smart routed. Boom. Oh, he got screwed with an inaccurate. Good ball. Very basic combo right there at the corner streak. He smart routed that corner route. I don't. I, I actually don't see people do that too often. Uh, but, yeah, that's a good play. Ooh. Going to trips tight end offset. Don't see this too often. You have verticals from this, which they all run from trips tight end. And he's going to call. <laughs> he's going to call verticals. Now, verticals are so good because this ball right here. Uh, shoot, I just, I just skipped a little bit too far. Uh, this ball right here is so good, right? You have this little thing. You have this. I mean, this is really good, too, this vertical route, but the seam right here, super good. And you can fit it in against so many different things, and he does right here. It's actually manned up, too. K-Mac's sick because this is a man up, and he takes the big hit, which you catch those in the big hit, but the man up's insane, actually, that he's able to throw it over that. 
Dez making some tough reads, but I mean, that, that is open. K-Mac doesn't think that would be open, but it was open. Let's go bunch left side now for Dez. Warren Moon at the helm. Bo Jackson off, off to his right hip inside, or rather halfback base. Yeah, and Dez being pretty smart here. Um, making a few decisions to try to milk, milk the clock. Uh, he gets ball at half, so honestly, if he can milk it correctly, score seven, go into half 14-14 with ball, amazing half for him. And honestly, it's a well-played half for both of them. Came back can get a stop. He's in a good spot as well. Let's see what we have here. Right side. Look at this right side. The potential. Yeah. Only one dude over here. The safety's all the way brought down from K-Mac. So potentially even something. Yeah. Great route combo. Great route combo. K-Mac's going to have to user it. And super good job, dude. Like, this is what a lot of people just struggle with, man. Like, look. K uh, Dez does this motion right here. Literally looking to attack this right side. And as soon as you see K-Mac's users over here, he says, no. I'm looking left side now. Has a deep corner out to the left. Able to hit it. Super good job, dude. So many people just get their eyes focused on one thing. Such a big piece of advice, I feel like, is when you recognize something is not open in Madden, get your eyes off of it. So many people, like, see, oh, this isn't open, and they just stare it down, right? It's not open. I'm just going to stare at it. I'm not going to take my eyes off of it. And it's like, no, 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 no. You can't do that. You, you, ha you have to get your eyes off of it, and you have to, you have to move to the next thing. You need to put together a well-rounded play, too. That play from Dez was a well-rounded play. Two deep corner routes against the zone coverage. Never going to be a bad play. And, yeah. So many people make the mistake. Let's see what Dez does here. All the way down the single back tight. Single back tight something? I don't know. Stretch left? Sure. Uh, no, he's going to look for the rollout glitch to the right side here, possibly. Yep. Yep, 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 yep. He's going to insta-snap roll out. And super good job. K-Mac called it. Really good. Yeah. Honestly, pretty high-level play here. This is a thing under center. You can just snap the ball and roll out sometimes. And, you, I mean, short yardage is pretty good. K-Mac, like, just immediately sees it and just users it. Good job by him, honestly. Really, like, in a pretty creative way, too. A lot of people try going too hard with making different zone adjustments. Oh, I got to – my defenders need to do this. K-Mac just says he's going to user it himself. I respect the hell out of that, K-Mac. Third and goal. Big opportunity for K-Mac to just get a stop, dude. Big opportunity here. Let's see, base – He's not aggressive. <sighs> Falls forward all the way to the one. K-Max got to be upset about that little fall forward. And now Dez going to milk this all the way down. So we're at 16 seconds left in the half. You got it. You're definitely going for it. You a billion percent go for this. Because if you don't get it, no, no harm. Well, I mean, you don't get the points, but like K-Max won't score before half. And you'll go into half down seven. You get ball at the half. Dez, a good spot to go for it. Really good spot to go for it. RPO stretch alert. No, he's just going to go inside zone. And he got it. K-Max... Thought he had a shoot. Looks like he just doesn't. Boom. Thought he'd have it. And he almost audibled out of it, too. And uh, no, no shoot. Touchdown. Nice. Look at Ryan Hollins here, dude. Seven feet tall. Good looking, dude. Good looking, dude. Nice guy. Nice guy. I will say, Ryan, if you're watching this, uh, we, uh, so we went to a Rockets game, and we invited him to get Taco Bell with us. And he, he did not get Taco Bell with us. All right, let's keep it moving. Jeez, I mean, this halftime show is very long. Very long. All right, here we go. First and 10. Dez has ball. Remember, 17, 7, or 14, 14 now in a really good spot. Verticals, halfback, angle route, very common route combo. Going to throw old, old man that's a lurk. It's just not a lurk anymore. And, like, I hate it. Like, I want that to get picked. And it's, a t like, it's not a good read. It's a bad read. But they have nerfed the users into the ground. I'm a big fan of user play being a big deal in Madden. I'll always harp on it. You guys, I'm a broken record with if you watch this channel a lot. There's a lot of skill gap with how good users were and being able to avoid users. If you're able to pass consistently and avoid users, you were really, like, it was tough, dude. It was tough. Inside zone right here, RPO read, rather. Yep. Weird blocking right there. A little unfortunate on the blocks. Kind of caved in. Should have kicked it out. Yeah, Dez, I mean, this is Dez's favorite formation, this bunch strong. What a weird, oh, wow, pancakes across the board. K-Max sent three right there. So with these RPOs, right, you can tell it's RPO, this bubble behind my face cam. These RPOs, uh, if you only send three people, you can get pancakes on them. If you only blitz three, and that's what happens right there. Good stick work almost out of there. Good stick talk, good stick talk. And yeah, what a weird Madden, though, as well, as well but to say where, I mean, we've had a couple weird years where, like, that man, I I've never been someone, he's going to force it. No. Ooh, late? No. Oh, late, late. That could have been bad. And he drops it. I've never been someone to like love the all the way around meta. 
Um, okay, that's like the old head in me, I think. It's like the it's because of how I like the time frame. I think I started playing Madden, but it is cool, dude. Like you'll see so many formations now in Comp Madden, and a lot of dudes audibly to a lot of formations. Whereas before, you used to never see anything, or just making new formations like this. I mean, you can't call this gun bunch anymore. You just motion to tight end over. Oh, he had the C route. He's gonna throw the C route super late now. Got it. Jalen Hyatt on the sidelines. Okay. Guys, all the way down to I form slot now. Yeah, I wish I wish I had this in my in my playbook. He's gonna look to roll. Yeah, K Max got good defense for this time. He's blitzing off that left edge, able to take away that that insta roll out. He know yeah. Dez did show this a lot on film. I I mean everybody who like I knew Dez would try some form of this in the red zone. K Mac did too, and K Mac actually labbed for it, which is smart. You got like when you have so many people like don't take advantage, I feel like, of like labbing and stuff like that or like knowing what your opponent's going to do so like like spending 20 minutes and learning how to stop it i don't know a lot of people just don't do a good job of that i feel like or do it at all Ooh, tough throw got it good click on good dot one of the most oldest basicest route combos in the book that's very hard to stop half back out of the backfield on a wheel out route gets inside that takes a good pass lead down and in ag catch touchdown Dez takes the seven-point lead, and we're going to see K-Mac on offense now. Let's see a little replay of it right here. Wow, I just – there was just a screech outside my apartment. Huh. All right, that was terrifying. I don't know if you guys could hear that. That was terrifying. Dez scored 14 unanswered, I think. And K-Mac all the way from trips 10 in over to tight flex. And, yeah, he has this play. I don't think this was in running gun last year, but maybe I'm wrong, man. Maybe I'm wrong. I don't know. What we got? Nothing, nothing, nothing. Look for a route bounce. It's scary to throw those. And he's got good pop or good uh good awareness. Get able to get something out of it. Dez obviously frustrated by that. It's always annoying when you have a you know good defense on the field and they end up getting some yards from rolling out. But part of what happens when you send three as well. So kind of got get uh, do the give and take. But yeah, Dez did a good job mixing up the three and the send five. Let's see. Uh, you gotta watch a corner route here. Yep, corner route left side. Yeah. Just like, okay, this is a cool route combo. Yeah, this is pretty good. I like it. Corner route is open, but the pressure. That's the thing about the send five too, dude. It just comes in, like, it sheds. You'll get sheds in this game. I've heard people talking about on Twitter, like, they feel like they tone sheds down and whatnot. I don't have too many issues with how the game is right now with, like, sheds. And there's that. Jeez, that's why I don't like that route combo, man. I'll talk about it in two different ways. One, or two different things. One, right here, this is that B gap screamer right sense five on five and then you just have two receivers right on top of each other like dude oh my gosh that's so close to being able to get lurked so close but he's able to complete it third and seven. Oh, so close to being able to get lurked and the old man's it would that's what i always think about i feel like i've made a lot of old man references in this game all right good d throw yeah i'm gonna say it dude we need to we need to bring old users back bro <laughs> We got to. We got to. K-Max had some bad ones. Daz had some bad ones. Like, this This has to get lurked. This is just the wrong. All right, can we all agree that this needs to get picked off by by Taylor right here? Like, he, I don't care. Like, oh, he doesn't attack the ball either. Like, what is that catch in him? That can't happen in Madden. That can't happen because that's like, oh, it's bad. It's bad. It's bad. It's bad. It's bad. It's bad for the game. Ah, that's probably my, well, that would be a, one of my biggest complaints for the next while in these Maddens. Throws it away. All right. Throws it away. Throws it away. K-Mac needs to get seven here to tie the game up. I'm curious how comfortable he is with three. I can't imagine super, but I'm curious if, like, if he gets into a fourth and three here. Nah, like a – let's say fourth and three. Fourth and three he goes. He definitely goes for it. Be a little bit deeper down the field. Might be a little bit more interesting uh, conversation. Hester getting motioned over. Cool route coming right here. Big fan of this. Big fan. Picks up the pressure. Nice. His pocket, though – yeah, we saw this with the W game where people are dropping back pretty far in the pocket. And this is a pretty good situation of it uh, where – or uh, example of it where, I mean, the ball snapped at the 44, right? So you get it right here and backing up far. And, I mean, by doing that, I mean, he actually has a clean – I mean, these guys still have not been shedded. And he could throw this corner route, but steps back too far. That throwaway low-key might be an intentional grounding if he doesn't get hit while he throws. And, yeah, that's something that K-Mac knows. He's not stupid. Uh, sometimes it can just be hard. Like I said in the W game, it can be hard in these games to like mentally be like pocket. You know what I mean? Like so many things are going on in your mind. And Dez now coming out on the DB fire. 
we have not seen him. We have not seen him run DB Fire yet, and he's actually known for being a dollar type guy. I was surprised to see him in so much 3D5 wide. Let's see what he does here. Yep, the motion out. Love this route combo. Good quick out. Really good. Really good. Yeah. I mean, it's simple, right? It really is simple, boys. This guy comes. That means an out route street combo on this left side. Who's going to defend the out route if this guy's blitzing? Because he's in this defense for this guy to blitz. So who's going to defend this out route? This guy? Then who's going to defend the streak? This guy, has to get, this guy has to get way out there? Or if this guy defends the streak, who defends the out? This guy? This guy? No. And that's, what, that's exactly what happens. He drops it to an outside third on the left side. Maybe a man up. Outside third. Able to quick throw it. It's not a bunch of yards, but it's six yards. You can, you can work your way down the field to that. You have to do that. It's a little bit better to the wide side. That's why uh, back, in, back in the day, damn, I'm making way too many old man references. Dot, touchdown, curl flat, cooking the man coverage. That's why they like curl flat so much. That is why they like curl flat so much, dude. It just, watch this thing fry. Is this cross man on it? Yeah. Fries across, man. Not even close, dude. Not even close. Dez on offense. Now, going to bunch tight end for the first time. Probably PA boot over. Got to assume it is. No, it's going to be X spot, actually. Sure. A little glitch in the thing. Huh. I wonder. Yeah, he just saw the man up and threw the angle route right there. Scary, scary. Came back feeling good, though. About six minutes left in this game. Gun bunch. Got audible to Y curl. Look at her place that blitzing slot. No, he's audibly again. I don't know what he's doing. Show your play, all right, buddy. All right, see route. Probably has it. Yep, throws it. Got it. Good dot. These dudes are so good at, like, pass leading, too, man. A lot of people mess up these pass leads. And it takes practice, bro. It takes practice getting into practice mode, literally, and then also just playing against people online, playing rep games, scrimmage games. Uh, if you're in the Civil GG Discord, we have a script or we have like a rep game section where you can play games, you know, and become, you know, honestly become friends with other people who play mad and want to get better at the game. You don't have to try to play competitively to just want to win more games and seasons. And it takes a little bit of practice. No different than like in Call of Duty, things take a little bit of practice in every game, I feel like. In pitching, you play MLB, dude, I have, I, I maybe play 10 MLB The Show games a year. I was taking batting practice for like 30 minutes one day. Just by myself, BP against Justin Verlander. Miggy, Miguel Cabrera against Justin Verlander. <clears throat> Watch this corner strike corner. A smart routed, going to get to like the five-yard line. He's got it. No, he didn't actually, but he's got the C route instead. I mean, all right, well, I've seen a, a trend. When they motion this guy out, they love that C route next to him. I mean, it's good. It, it is. It is certainly good. I'm surprised K-Mac almost didn't see that coming because we've seen that a few times now. So k finds himself down seven now. Got to get points. And it's a tough situation here because, like, you man, this is where I'm bad with clock management. And I would say just get seven and you'll just have to get a stop. But some a lot of players would say you got to get seven and you're trying to clock this because you don't want dads to have a money drive, right? It's a hard way to live like that, man. It really, really is. And uh, nothing there. It's a hard way to live like that. I... You have to be really good at the game for that to work out perfectly for you. But it low key is the correct thing. I mean, KMAC really is in a bad spot. Set seven here and three wins for Des. Yeah. It's uh geez. The screen's shaking for him too. That's annoying. I'd be annoyed as hell. And he's going for a bomb. This he has actually yeah, I think it's smart to go for a bomb. You almost want to score ideally you score super fast. Not there, though. Has to throw it away. Almost sacked. Would have been a bad sack. Third and six now. 12 for 22. Bomb doesn't work. That's twice he's tried that play and it hasn't worked as well. I'm curious how good that bomb... Like, I'm curious how frequent that bomb does get open for him. I don't know. I don't, I don't play trips too often anymore. Love this play. Love this. Love this. Love this. Out route. Throws it. You would like, ideally, a good defense from Dez. But ideally, this out route cooks this man right here. And then you're able to get some rack after. It just doesn't win. It's a good, honestly, a good read. I, yeah, it just doesn't win, but it's a, definitely a good, uh, solid read. PA slot corner right now. So we got to watch our circle wide receiver, our B inside slot. Whenever you're playing trips, I think this is the most dangerous guy. I, by far, because he can go on this crosser, post, whatever, and then he can be on corner routes. I feel like he's the most dangerous. But then you just got to defend that seam route from Y. Right here is getting motioned in. Probably on a motion drag across the field. Yep. See, okay, yeah, there's a little bit better space between the slant and the drag. Goes drag late. 
Oh, man, that is late, 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 late. That's scary. That is scary, dude. Oh, he's going for... He's, he's low-key looking for a bomb right here. Watch square, maybe. PA post shot from gun tight flex. Not there. He's going to have to throw it away. Yeah, a couple. He, he's calling early shot plays in, in his uh, set of downs, which... Ah, oh, man, you're... I mean... Yeah. It's in, if he had called run plays for the, it's the two shot plays he took, had he ran the ball, the clock would be close to like three minutes right now. And he'd be really in a good spot to actually clock. So that might show why you should be clocking. Drops that one. That's a tough ball, tough catch. Yeah, honestly, maybe that shows why you should be clocking. Because, I mean, two runs takes a minute off the clock, I guess. Yeah, I'm in. Yeah. In this case you get down to three minutes or something, it's like, well, that's easy to clock the rest of it from this field position and score a touch. You, then you just score a touchdown. Let's see, corner out. I, I, yeah, I, I, I'm in love with this type of route combo. I really am. Just a five out's tough, but he's able to pick it up, dude. See, one, two, three, four, five. We have five people blocking. It's pretty consistently he's able to. Gets a drag underneath Jerry Rice, able to st go out of bounds. Yeah, I, it doesn't look like K-Mac has any desire to clock. I don't know right there if he could have controlled it too much, um, whether or not he went out of bounds. But inbounds right there is so big, honestly, for K-Mac. I'm surprised he's not running the ball, actually. I really thought he'd, he'd clock some. Yeah, because even I'm thinking about it. And, and when I said earlier that I don't know, like, it's a tough situation. Now, while I'm look, watching this unfold, the obvious answer is to, is to clock and almost just play for 28-28 and have, play defense, ideally, for like 10 seconds at the end of the game, I think. I think. I think that's what I think. This is PA boot out of gun trips tight end. I don't know if he likes from this. Sends five out. Nothing there. Has to throw it away. Third and three now. But yeah, see how many, you guys get what I'm saying? Like, we've had probably, what, 10 plays or so from KMAC this drive? Maybe like eight. And we're still within the first minute of the fourth quarter. What do we have on third and three? Let's see, drag. Ooh. Quick throw. Got it. Good juke. He's going to get out right there. Boom, and he's out of bounds again. Yeah, I mean, he's just totally committing to defense right here. And I, a lot of people, like, make fun of this type of route combo, but I actually don't mind it, just pushing everything deep. I think he actually had. Maybe I'm wrong, but, like, I, I don't mind this at all. Like, you play over aggressive. You, even in a cover three shell, you'll have some if the user isn't perfect. He has RB with a pass lead up and out, I believe. And then B could get, like, it, if he had more space, definitely, but you could, like, highball it, like, here. But ends up taking a... Kind of a bad sack. Honestly, you don't want to do that. And now we're on a second and 20. Clock is ticking, but K-Mac doesn't care about the clock. Motion that dude out again. You see, like, yeah, when these guys get a little bit uncomfortable passing or, like, they really want to, like, really want to focus on passing, they motion this guy out. Quick throw. Ooh. Ooh. To a tight end. Cloud flat plays. And he's in bounds still. My prediction here is PA slot corner. We'll see if he goes to it. No, he's going to audible. All right, looks like he has like a money play. He has not been in gun doubles yet, but I know he's ran this in the past. What is a... Okay. It seems basic enough. Let's, uh... Let's see. It goes drag. Sure. Fair, I guess. Huh. I'm surprised he audible to doubles just for that. But that's, that's cool. Huge fourth and ten. That halfback got motioned out. Watch the tight end. Bagged, nothing there. Good user, nothing there. Okay, I think came back upset about Warren Moon not getting that ball off, but honestly, the read here is underneath. Like, and it's tough to throw a flat on fourth and ten, but like this, this is gonna at least get close. Good user though, kind of baits this up here, then just sits, right? Just sits, sits, sits. This would be insane. Yeah, this. I pray that this wouldn't have gotten caught. This, game's, this game is bad if that is. But Dez in a good spot now. Up seven. Up seven with uh, two and a half. Yeah, all he needs is a uh, couple of first downs, and this, this one is uh, GG's. So he does going over to gun doubles into RPO zone flat. I don't know what this run play is, but we'll see if it's any good at all. And he runs it. It looks like it might be good. Bo Jackson, you, he's on conservative two, I believe, which is good. He's probably going to call run play this play as well and then take us to a two-minute warning. I have to assume. Dude, he throws that bubble again. That must be good, but it just isn't. K-Mac uses his first time out. Okay. It must be good. Like, obviously, if he's throwing it, he's probably done it before, but uh, I don't ever throw it, and he's two times has not worked. 
halfback base, nothing there. K Mac gonna let this go to the two now. So K Mac just needs a stop, and it's, he, he's right back in the game, honestly. Third and seven, he just needs to honestly play pass defense, two plays. Bunch left side, K Mac in the nickel 3 3. Cub. He flips, let's see. Base aligned. Surprise not baseline pressed. What we got? Anything? Quick throws it. Oh, he caught that. Oh, he needs that one knocked out. There is a thing, though, dude. When you throw, like, contested passes and you get hit in the back in this game, you catch them. Dang, came out, or a Dez threw that. Dude, that could have been picked. No pick ours, I don't think, on that dude. But that, dang, that's a tight ball. That is a tight, tight, tight ball. Fourth and three. Minute 28 left. Came back, needs a stop. Dez, a first down. A first down really does almost win this game, especially if he gets, like, 10 yards because he's only about 15 yards away from field goal range. Quick snap verticals. High ball, or not even a high ball, and he drops it. That's a thing where, like, you just don't drop many of those in this game. You really don't. I'm surprised he dropped it, dude. It's a fine read. He's open. He's able to, I mean, you could throw this. It's caught. It, it's caught. I mean, space right here. And just jars it loose. Came back with a chance to go down, tie the game, or win the game. Honestly, worked out best case scenario for Came back because now clock, he doesn't even need to really worry about too much. He just got to get seven one way or another. Have to, have to, have to. Trips to the left side. PA, no, re don't call read option. No. No. People do this, like, on their money drives where, like, start off with a run. And, I don't know, I feel like it only ends badly. Maybe it gets a clock moving. Maybe that's what he wanted to do. I don't know. I, I, I know I used to do that a ton. I'm like, I feel like this never works. So I stop. Pressure. Oh, pick. GG's. Yeah. Yeah, yeah, yeah. What happens here? Looks like it's this high safety. Man, this guy's manned up here. Watch Devin Hester. on. The, no, it's uh, – yeah, it is. Yep. And the ball just gets – honestly, led a little bit too far, looks like. Is there, like, a little bump? Watch what happens right here with triangle and the flat and the defender right here. Let's see if, let's see if Hester bumps at all. Yeah, he does. Yup, yup, yup. Watch, watch this middle defender. Watch this guy right here. That's why I got picked off. Without it, like, he, uh, Hester gets his hands on it. Without this bump. Look at him. Just a little one, but you can see his left shoulder. Jeez, and that's GG's, boys. If you enjoyed this video, make sure you check out my website, GG. Get everything you need to get better at John Madden football over there, boys, okay? Schemes, tips, community, everything. All right, link, top description.